Good morning, everyone. So today, I am going to show you guys how to make a macchiato. So right here, I have a what they might call an espresso pot or a Cuban coffee maker, what have you. So I'm going to do a quick demonstration on how to use this, and then I'll show you how to make your macchiato. All right. So I have the bottom of the pot right here, and what I'm going to do is I need to fill it up with water. However, you see this little nozzle. I can't go above that nozzle. So I'm going to turn it this way so I can see it as I fill it up. So you want the water just below there. You can go a little, a few more drops. There we go. All right. So now we're going to put the filter in. And then you don't want to use, I've noticed like an espresso coffee is really fine grind. But the manufacturer, Matteo Joe, they said you want a coarse ground of coffee. So let me go ahead and put my coffee in here. So you want about ooh, three or four tablespoons. So I have this in my coffee to keep it dry. <laughs> so I kind of messed up maybe one more tablespoon. <laughs> so once you put it in there, you want to lightly, so I want to use the back of this scoop to lightly pack it. You don't want it packed packed, just lightly packed. All right. Now we take the top of this and we screw it on. And you got to make sure it's straight and you got to make sure it's tight. Because if not, the water will sputter out the middle part. Alright, so now we have it tight on there. We're going to put this on the stove. Low to medium flame. You don't ever want your flame to be wider than the bottom. All right, so let me go ahead and put this on the stove and I'll be right back. All right, I just wanted to show you guys how my flame is looking on here. Excuse my stove, my stove needs wiping again. <laughs> I've been very bad with that. But as you can see, the flame is not bigger than the base of the coffee pot all right all right so my coffee is done there's still a little bit spewing out Smog. <laughs> all right all right now that my coffee is done I am going to get about a half cup of milk And you can either microwave the milk for one minute until it steams, or you can put it on the stove, which I'm going to put mine on the stove, so I'll be right back. All right, so what you want is to basically you want to just scald your milk. You don't want it really boiling. Just scald it. So once it starts forming steam, it's ready. All right, so my steam has formed. And I'm going to tell you, usually I do this in my um, <laughs> my French press, but maybe you don't have a French press. And I want to make sure people at home, you can do this. So I'm going to take my scalded milk, and I'm going to put it in a mason jar. And so a mason jar, when you add something hot to it, as long as it's not cold, it shouldn't break. But, you know, don't sue me if it does. Because <laughs> it could, so you got to be careful. All right, so then what I'm going to do is shake it to basically add air. Now, I don't know if cream would work with this. I've tried cream using 
the um, French press. And basically what I've done is you just do this to add air to it. All right. So I'm wondering if I should have added actually a cup of milk. So this is going to be, I guess, a small macchiato. So we're going to go ahead and pour this in. And then I'm going to try, I'm going to try again. And give this to one to mom. <laughs> My foam won't come out. <laughs> I'll use my my iced teaspoon. It's actually a really long spoon. Still got a lot of foam in there. All right. So then I'm going to slowly ooh came out quicker. You want to go along the side here. didn't quite work I don't know what you would call that drink so let me try it the way I usually do it be right back <laughs> all right so let's try this again now I haven't tried this French press to to make my milk foamy now my French press from college did a good job with that so I'm assuming it will work so basically you just want to pump air into it gonna make this milk foam. Let's see how this looks. There's our foam. There we go. The macchiato, yo. Look at you see? See how it's come in different parts like a macchiato is supposed to? But you gotta pour it slow. Okay. So there we have it. A macchiato. So how would you make this a caramel macchiato? I would add the flavoring to the coffee before you pour the coffee in there or the sweetener mine's going to be unsweetened today but that's okay because it's still going to be very flavorful what if you don't have a Cuban coffee pot that's okay just make a coffee stronger just make your coffee stronger and that will suffice 
Um, so there we have it. I'm so proud. You know, you could put a little dash of cinnamon on top if you wanted to. However you like it, right? So there's my macchiato. It took me some time, though. I'm I'm kind of bummed out that my French press doesn't do like my last French press did. My last French press even came with a special attachment. And actually the the and I can't think of what this part is called. It's dripping with milk. But this part actually did a better job foaming the milk than the special attachment did. But it's just that this attachment is not reaching the bottom like the last one did or otherwise it would have worked I think alright so there we have it a macchiato so you can make it a caramel macchiato a mocha macchiato a orange mocha frappuccino <laughs> uh, whatever so anyway I just want to say thank you for joining me today and I'll see you next time if my video has been helpful to you uh, like, subscribe, subscribe, and share. 